Yeah, if I've mined Bitcoin on uh, numerous occasions, and uh, you know, there's obviously some caveats to that. It is a lot of hard work, you know, to kind of learn some of the stuff and keep the equipment running. But um, you know, how it works is uh, very early on. You know, you were able to run this software that would um, solve math problems that were given to it, and you could do it on your own. You know, you were able to do it on a CPU. And then eventually it became too much for one computer, and then people had to pool together and pool their computing power together, and that and started mining pools like Slush's pool. And uh, a little later on, then in the, it became too much for CPUs, and people had to move to GPUs, which is graphics cards. Uh, you've probably seen a lot of those set up in arrays. And uh, you know, then you know, as a pooled mining operation, you, you know, you could solve these math problems that were coming from the network to create new Bitcoins with the GPUs. And then even that became not enough power and they had to make special custom computers called ASICs, um, application specific integrated circuits. And they had to make those and uh, begin selling those um, to Bitcoin miners. And that became really, um, today, pooled mining with ASIC computers is the only way you're gonna mine Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, um, you know, Ethereum came along, they kept the GPU dream alive. They made a so-called ASIC proof algorithm, you know, to kind of keep the uh, GPU mining around. And, um, you know, companies like uh, NVIDIA, I'm sure, really made a lot of money off of that gold rush. So. <laughs> <laughs>